Hello and welcome. My name is Alan Velengawa and today we are going to review multi-modal imaging platform from NIDEC called Mirante. It's both the SLO and the OCT imaging platform and we are going to see how it compares and differs from the competitors. Let's review Mirante. Okay, let's start from the outside. The device is relatively large and has a sleek modern design. Patient handles are horizontal, which is great because it helps patients to sit down without touching the device. This is really cool. I love it. Mirante it consists of a high resolution camera, laser source, display, computer and a power source. Both the computer and the laser source are mounted underneath the table. So the OCT is operated with a joystick and there are also three buttons. So one is used to lock the device and the other two are used for the settings. So you can change the settings quickly on the machine rather than on the computer. Great feature about this machine is that it has a swivel rotation mode so you can move it up and down and right to left so even for uncooperative patient you can get nice images they also two additional add-on lenses so this is the ultra wide field lens they all attach to the device using a magnet and there is also a smaller lens used for the anterior segment imaging and it looks like this this is the capture mode in capture mode you can change between the SLO and OCT and combo. If you click detailed settings, you can change resolution. Then you have the OCT mode. And here again, you have conveniently located fine, ultra fine or regular, which are just the regular scans, or you can click detail setting and change the B scans and A scans. If you click combo, combo is like protocol. So you have protocols for glaucoma or macula that you wish for. Back to the SLO, you have the Angio, so ICG FA. And here again, if you change the, you can change the resolution or you can change the number of frames for a movie. Let's look what we've captured. We double click on the patient. We see the, all the images taken. If you click on one modality, like here, this is the blue and green autofluorescence. If you, you can switch between them. So basically the machine is sorting by modality. So right now we are looking at the something that's unique for Mirante, which is the Retro illumination, it's very nice for explaining the patient, but there's something great because you can see comparison. So all the modalities on one screen, and there is something that's also amazing for this machine, which is the fly by mode. This is basically a viewing option in which you fly through different modalities of the same spot on the retina. And this is much easier to comprehend for your brain than having the fluorescing and geography on the right side and let's say color from this on the right side. Here you just see the same spot in different modalities and different type of autofluorescence. Another great feature that this machine has is the ability to capture movies. This is the medium quality and this is still amazing color and attention to details. Now it's time to see the OCT and the OCT looks amazing. So the highest resolution that you can get on this machine is just mesmerizing. And this is what you see. Uh, naturally, they have multiple types of scans, like all the other devices. You have raster, you have cross, you have line scans, you have a macular map, but probably macular map is going to be the most often used. So here we are going to see the color coded thickness map of the retina and this is basically 12 millimeters by 9 millimeters so it's pretty pretty wide and this is the 3d animation then you have the macula mode glaucoma mode image and the arm face and the image even on the 3d scan still looks very good so the resolution is still very good you see the end of the choroid despite this being more or less a screening image. Mirante can also capture OCT and geography images, but I wouldn't say this is the strongest side of this amazing uh, platform. I would say OCT and geography uh, 
is not as good as with with Zeiss or with uh, Canon devices or with OptiView. It still lags behind those those machines. Uh, the resolution isn't good. Then you have plenty of uh, artifacts. So I would say OCT and geography still needs improvement. You can naturally see maps. There are also parameters. There's automatic FAZ um, measurement and also the measurement of the CNV. If you're willing to compare between the scans or see progression, naturally you can do it. So here we see two cross sections, um, two scans. You can switch between right and left and then see both. This is the comparison of the macula and glaucoma uh, maps. So you see um, all parameters on the one side, very easy. Um, and then also you can see progression. Naturally, all the image can be edited as you as you want. So you can change the position of the fovea. Now it's time to see glaucoma. So this is the disc circle and those graphs pronounce the thickness depending on the uh, sector. So this is an interesting way of displaying. Then you have the raster scans of the of the optic nerve head. And here again, you have the graph then we have the RNFL thickness maps uh, with different parameters and also quite modifiable. My first impression of the software were, oh my gosh, it's so complicated. But after I get used to it, it's actually so well designed and it took them a lot of time just making sure that you'll spend least time on like moving back between different modalities. Right now, um, I love the software and I think it's, it's really, really great. Okay, so let's review Mirante. This is an SLO system. That means that you get a pseudo color. So the images, the colors are going to be distorted, right? It's not as nice as Clarus or Adon because they use like true color. This is a pseudo color. This is still way better than many older models of Spectralis where the colors were like green and blue and however because the machine uses laser what's bad for the color fundus is actually amazing for the monochromatic images like the fa or faf or icg this machine has two types of autofluorescence so blue and green and you can make both if you wish and both of them are so sharp and detailed like no other machine can produce so this is just amazing because it's a confocal system, so you don't see any floaters, any debris, everything is clean and sharp. There's something that's unique for this machine, as I already briefly touched on, which is the retro illumination. It looks great. It's very nice for showing to patient. We still don't know what its real clinical utility, whether it's as useful as the 3D animation of the optic nerve, which is great for the patient or whether it's as nice as let's say autofluorescence. The truth however is that it really allows you to see trusen in even in young patients. So you have patients who are 20 something and they have some small tiny little trusen and you can see them using retro mode only. Another great things of this system is that this is an ultra wide field system so you, ha you have the ability to add this lens and then capture really deep into the periphery because it swivels. So you can make it even up to almost aura serrata uh, when you swivel and you have cooperative patient. And great thing is that this is all in one platform, right? So you have uh, different types of modalities and you have this fly through mode, which I love and if you buy this device you are going to use fly through mode very often. What about OCT? Well OCT looks great like all SLO systems they have amazing uh, quality detailed images of the B scans while OCT and geography is really not that great. Software you can get used to software right it's not uh, very difficult it's certainly easier to operate this machine than Spectralis, but it's not as easy as other automatic OCTs. If you are a happy owner of the MP3, which is the micro perimetry from NIDAC, you can also combine those two machines and then you have 
things like OCT and geography plus microperimetry or thickness of the macula plus microperimetry. What I don't like about this machine? Well, firstly, the sound, right? There is this uh, laser, the polygonal scanner that's inside the machine that can make the operator insane because everybody hears in the clinic and it's really high pitch and it sounds like this. You have to admit that it's terrible. Another thing that's quite difficult about this device is that it's large. Um, it takes a lot of footprint, but on the other side, it's one device for imaging of the retina. So you don't need a fundus camera. You don't need a separate angiographer. It's all in one. And last but not least, it's pretty expensive. In conclusion, Nidec made a brilliant job. This is an excellent device. It's very well designed. The colors are amazing. It's really well thought. And I want to emphasize, it's not a discount Spectralis. In many ways, it's actually better than Spectralis. So if you see a need for your practice to, to have a multimodal SLO-based OCT system in your practice, you should really test Mirante because in many ways it's going to exceed your expectations and it's going to be better machine than Heidelberg Engineering. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.